Alright well, everyone, it's Sam here. Welcome back to Season 5 of the Pinnacle League. We're here for Round 12 in Belgium. Now you're probably wondering, firstly, why we're at the wrong track and secondly, why I've skipped a round. Well, you're about to find out because here we are then at Round 11 in Hungary and um, buying a safety car and yeah, that happened. So, didn't really feel like doing a video for that. But here we are then for Round 12, as I said, in Belgium. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can um, actually score some points in this round. Although... I'm not sure if I did score points in the last round or not because there's going to be a bit of controversy going on lately with um, whether people are scoring points or not um, when they DNF from a race because, well, unfortunately we haven't for a while really had many numbers in Pinnacle so in theory what we have to do really is finish the race and you're going to be guaranteed a point but, I mean, like, in a race of 10 if someone DNFs, they, well... They probably should be getting still the one point, really, um, if they, like, started the race. But, yeah, apparently that hasn't always been happening. And I think there's been a bit, a few inconsistencies, really, with the uh, point scoring this season. I'm not really sure what's been going on. I'd, I'm not the best person to be talking about it, to be honest. But that's just what I've been hearing. And um, I think there's been a few times where I haven't actually been given points when, like, there's only been eight people here and I've DNF'd, which is a bit unfortunate, but... Honestly, I'm that annoyed with the game that, like, minor points haven't really bothered me that much. But, um, yeah, it would be nice if, really, if I did. No, either way, if I was getting the points or not, when I uh, disconnect or not. But, um, yeah, hopefully we won't have to worry about that, because hopefully we'll actually finish the race this time. And here we are then, in our, on our qualifying lap, we're only fifth at the minute. And, um, yeah, really what we want to be doing is uh, reenacting our Season 3 win, which is probably not going to happen, but... Um, yeah, that was been unexpected at the time, though, having said that, because uh, I thought there were going to be other people in that race who were probably going to be quicker than me. Although my biggest rival, Psycho Swish, couldn't race that day, I remember, so I think I was probably why I ended up winning that race. But anyway, on to today, and we only qualify sixth in the end, despite a little improvement on that last lap. And uh, yeah, CK the Flying Scott, who took pole position then from Justin Zinker and DLT, no teammate for me again. Hasn't been the case for a few races. I haven't actually been mentioning it. And um, I don't know when I'm going to have a teammate again because um, he's kind of, he's not been raced, he's not raced for a while. I'm not sure when he's actually coming back. So it looks like I don't have a teammate in any of my leagues at the minute, unfortunately. But um, here we are then on the grid. Just waiting for the lights now. They're coming on now. And away we go. And it looks like we've got a pretty decent start here. Then we're getting... Alongside the uh, Williams of James here, pretty quickly. Looks like we're looking at Colonel Check as well. I break a little early, got a little tap from behind, but it looks like I've got thrown Colonel Check. And I've not got much room here as I've heading up towards our Rouge, but enough to keep it on the track. And I'm um, looking at James now then for P4. So it's been a very good start here as we're going up O Rouge and on the grass there. I just can't be precise with these cars, I don't know why. But I'm in the slipstream now towards Le Combe and. Um, well, we've got quite a gap behind us, I'm not sure what was going on behind, but we were almost maxed out there and we couldn't get past James, unfortunately. Bit of contact up ahead, I think, with Callum and Justin Zinka for a, yet another race. And it looks like, again, three wide, a bit of lag and a bit of a side pod glitch as well there. Justin Zinka lost out, but I'm not really sure what was going on there. As we're looking at James now, then into this uh, downhill right-hander, which I was meant to look up the name of, but I forgot to, so I don't know what, I'm, what it's called now. But it uh, looked like there was a bit of lag going on there because he kind of, like, Jump back head and then gave me no space but we're skipping to the end of the lap and there's a bit of contact with him and DLT in that final chicane and we're coming across the line I'll start the second lap it has been a good start for us we're up to fourth having started sixth now into turn one DLT's broke late and um, I think there's a bit of lag going on there with certainly with James like a lag barrier or something because he seemed to kind of lose grip in the middle of the corner but I'm up into second place for now then and um, we're going to be going side by side with James here through a rouge it looks like and I've just about held on to it for now but uh, DLT's there I think uh, Hickey there as well so we may even go four wide here as we're heading towards Le Combe. no DRS yet but a lot of slipstreaming and we're on the inside but it looks like DLT's going to go around the outside so no chance for Hickey to try and um, recreate his uh, Austin Season 2 pass but uh, yeah DLT's back up to second and I'm still in the podium place here as I'm going side by side with James once again. Yeah, going defensive into that right-hander, that's going to bug me now for the rest of this um, race because 
Oh, I can't remember the name of it. Got why well, I know a few kind of names. It's either one or, one or the two. But um, we're going to skip to lap five now because James had a bit of an accident there behind us. I'm not really sure what happened, but it certainly gave us a bit of uh, breathing space for the rest of the open stint because, uh, well, DLT kind of pulled away from me. Callum had uh, plenty of free space up in, fr um, well, obviously in front of him because he was leading, and um, yeah, they were all just squabbling behind me, so I was comfortable in third for a while. And I come then on lap uh, five, had a little bit of a delay for um, Justin Zinker, I think it was that pitted. Or it might have been Hickey actually, but um, yeah, it's still a decent stop and probably not going to affect us too badly because we weren't really, really racing with anyone at the time. And um, exit in the pits now then, and well, we're in six, but obviously still a few guys ahead of us to pit, so it's not really going to last for long. Let's give them to the next snap in fact, and uh, Colonel Chex in the pits, and I think the LT is as well. We're going to be, may even be racing him on the exit here as we're heading now in, into turn one. Let's see how close it is. And there he is, just coming out of the pits. We may even get alongside him. Oh, no, it's lag, never mind. And um, we're still pretty close to him. But are we going to have a chance now then? See, we're heading up a route, and his car is going slowly and lagging about again, just like it was in Germany. And I'm praying that there's not going to be another instant like that again. As, um, of course, something similar to this happened in my last league race on F1 2013, if you remember, in former Xbox with my teammate Silent Mole. And um, yeah, it looked like we were through on DLT there, but it wasn't to be because it was just lag. But um, yeah, it's, it, that was a part of the track where he's kind of pulling away from me. But then later on in the lap, I'm catching up to DLT once again. Kel is now coming in, I think. There's someone else who was ahead of us who's about to come in as well. So we're going to be back up into second and third places. Looks like Callum's got a comfortable enough lead in this race to not have to worry about us. But only four laps to go, and we're right behind DLT now then gonna try and uh, pass him um, with with or without lag and um, win the slipstream up towards our rouge hopefully we can get a good run out of here try and avoid his lagging car as we're about to do here I kind of expected that there because well obviously he wouldn't have been going that slowly and as quickly as possible I got the slipstream there just to avoid his car going re really slowly or something but it looks like I've actually got the move done now and then I'm up into second place so this is going pretty well he's gonna try and fight back at us of course because, well, we've got a rivalry that goes back a pretty long way here, and he's got a championship to win, of course. And there's a bit of contact there as well. Lag again. So, that's just great. Code Masters, please sort this out. I mean, I'm getting tired of having to commentate on this in every single race. We're skipping to lap 10, though, which is where I catch him back up. Only just over a lap to go now. So, we really need to get this move done once and for all now if we're going to do it. And we're. We've got a very good run here towards the bus stop chicane and you can see we're not actually that far off the lead having said that but just not really close enough to be challenging for it. Looks in the final corner we've got DRS on him as we begin the last lap now and we could look to the inside line but really we want the DRS for the uh, Kemmel straight as he's going. We went quite slowly there and we almost had a chance but there wasn't really much space because it was quite tight for us on the apex but held on for now at least. And um, well, we did actually lose a bit of ground at Twilio Rouge there, but we should still be close enough for DRS here then. And um, DRS is being activated now, there's a bit of lag going on, but I think it seems to sort itself out now as he's going defensive here then. He's moving right up to the inside, I'm going to try and go for the outside. Probably the better line slightly, but he's going to have the inside line, he's going to fight it back. And Rosberg, take note, because that is how you get through that corner cleanly. And um, yeah, he's managed to hold the place now then into turn two. And um, as I said before, the sec second sector is where I was just slow ready. I was only quick on the parts where you just have to drive fast. But Callum wins then, DLT second. It was a nice battle there. A little bit of lag ruined it, but not as bad as some other races. So it was a decent third place for us there. And um, yeah, a, not a bad result then after the um, disappointment of Hungary. Well, and also Germany as well, of course. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it then for this race. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed it, and I shall see you next time. Goodbye.